Hello children, the world of animals part 2. In our previous video, we have discussed about the types of animals. Today, in this video, we will talk about how do animals eat and how they move and how they are important for us. How do animals eat? Animals mostly eat with their mouth. They chew their food and then swallow it. Okay, swallowed food goes to our stomach and there further digestion happens. Herbivores animals have flat white teeth which help them to eat grass. Carnivores have sharp pointed teeth to tear the flesh. Like lion, they have pointed sharp teeth so that they can eat the flesh of animals. Animals like rabbit. Rats, squirrels have very sharp teeth to bite hard seeds and fruits. Chewing the cud. Some animals like cattle, deer, sheep, goats. So they are herbivorous animals. They mainly eat grass and leaves of plants. So they are plant eaters. So what they do? They chew their food in their mouth. And after some chewing, they swallow it. The food, it gets stored in the special pouch within its stomach. After some time, they again bring that portion of food to their mouth and they again chew it for the second time. That is known as chewing the cud. So cud is a portion of food that returns from the animal's stomach to the mouth to be chewed for the second time. Here you, have, you can see the picture of a cow. So at first you have seen a cow. The whole day it gazed in the field and eat lots of grass. So what they do? They will eat the grass and they will chew for the first time in their mouth and then they will swallow it and it will store in a pouch in their stomach. And after some time they will again bring back their stored food or cut. That stored food is called cut to their mouth and begins to chew it again. Why do animals move? Animals move to find food and also to avoid from being eaten to safeguard themselves. Animals also move to find shelter from sun, wind, rain or snow. Animals also move to find each other, that is their family members. So movement of animals are very important for them. So how do animals move? Most of the animals move using their feet, like dog, tiger and animals are mostly, they have four legs. So they move with the help of their legs. Some animals like kangaroo, they hop. Hops means to, have you seen the picture? They jump. They, are, they have two main legs, but their two legs are not capable to walk like us human. So they, what they do do? They jump using their legs. Frog jumps. You can see the picture how do frog jump and snake. They move their bodies. They don't have any legs. They move their bodies. Tortoise crawls. You have seen a baby crawling. So called tortoise also crawls. It cannot stand and walk. Fish uses fins and tail to move in water. Ducks and frogs, they have webbed feet. You can see in the picture the shape of the leg. So that is called webbed feet. So webbed feet of ducks and frogs help them to swim in water. So these are like they can also duck and frog. They can walk on the land and also in water. So they have the special legs so that they can walk on the land and also they can swim in water. So they have webbed feet. How do birds fly? So we all know birds fly in the sky. They fly with the help of their wings. 
birds are very light in weight their bones are hollow so it makes them easier for them to fly in the air so here step by step how a bird's fly is shown so at first a bird it pushes its leg and it opens its wing then they draw their legs to their body okay then they give a full up stroke can you see in the picture number 4 they have opened their wings and then they will give a down stroke and they begin the full flight then wings are at full down and up stroke and gradually they can fly in the sky how do animals help us animals help us in many ways ox and bullock help us in plowing the field they help in farming some animals like donkey camels are used for carrying loads mainly in villages animals like cows buffalo goat provide us milk animals like hen and duck provide us egg we also get meat from hen duck goat and fish ships are rare for wools and silk warm for silk animals like dogs guard our houses and are good companion of human beings thank you children